Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our INEOS Dilution webinar. Before we start, I would like to highlight that this webinar will be recorded and a copy of this recording will be made available to everyone. Our topic today is to introduce our key resin, the uniqueness of the material and its application. Also, we will give a short introduction on Inyos Dilution as a company our product portfolio, and our K-Racing grades. There will also be a Q&A session after our presentation. If you have any questions, please send them to us via the question dialog box, and we will take the questions up accordingly. Few of our colleagues will drive through, through this webinar. Myself, Henry Wong, I'm in charge of the SPC Portal Management for Asia Pacific. I'm located in Singapore. Mr. Wee Sok Jong, Asia Pacific Technical Portal Manager for Transparent Specialty Products. He is located in Korea. He is also the key speaker for today on the technical and application part. Mr. Jerry Liao, Asia Pacific Business Director of Transparent Specialty Products. He is located in Shanghai, China. He will be hosting the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Last but not least, Ms. Hui Bun Kwa, our Corporate Communication Manager for Asia Pacific. She is helping us to control the rundown and panel behind the screen today. Before talking about K-Resin, let's have a very short overview about our company. In your Styrolution, we are the global leader in Styrenex with more than 90 years of experience. We have 20 production sites, six R&D centers, 24 sales offices globally across 10 countries. Our products are also used in more than 2,000 applications across seven industries. For example, automotive, household, electronics, construction, etc. We are also an environmentally conscious organization. We were award a platinum rating by Eco in year 2020 and 2021 placing us in the top 1% in the category of plastics manufacturers. Now, let's have a quick recap on what is K-Resin. K in K-Resin stands for kitchen because this was invented by Alonso Kitchen in 1966. It was commercialized in early 1970s. Since then, the product has been growing steadily in the marketplace as more and more applications have been developed, utilizing the unique combination of sparkling clarity and impact resistance. Traditional applications has been populated by collaborating with different styrenic materials. They have rigid food packaging, for example, disposable food container, electronics packaging, toy, stationery, spot accessories, medical devices, etc. However, this is not our focus to, for today, and we aim to spend more time on what new solution we provide in recent years. In next session, our technical product manager will introduce K-Resin from technical perspective. We shall Please. Thank you, Henry. Kerogen SBC is a styrene butyrene copolymer. It is made by an ionic polymerization. A particular characteristic of SBC is the intentional creation of block structures through 
and ionic polymerization to yield a sequence of hard styrene blocks and soft butyrene blocks, which is different from the elastomers produced from styrene and butyrene using the radical technology. And HIPS, high impact polystyrene with grafted cross-linked polybutyrene particles. Then now, how K-resin is transparent? K-resin, SBC, has microphase separated structure, so-called lamella structure. Here, dark areas corresponding to polybutadiene rubber phase and white areas corresponding to styrene phases. As the polybutadiene rubber phase dispersion in K resin is on a finer scale than wavelength of a visible light, K resin has good toughness, impact resistance, while maintaining high transparency. However, if we look at the high impact polystyrene, HIPS, polybutyrene rubber is dispersed in the polystyrene matrix in the form of spherical particles. This particle size is around two to three micrometer, which is much larger than wavelength of a visible light. So it cannot be transparent. This slide shows how to control of a morphology of a styrene butadiene copolymer and its mechanical properties. With the symmetrical styrene butadiene styrene block copolymers, the phase volume ratio decides whether the elastomeric or the thermoplastic character predominates. Therefore, we could in general distinguish two types of SBC. The first, thermoplastic elastomer, so-called TPE, where the soft and elastic component forms the continuous phase, typically containing less than 50% of the styrene. And second, high styrene content resins, typically containing over 70% styrene, and belonging to the class of tough and rigid transparent thermoplastics. The K resin is in here, the second part. In K resin SPC, the morphology plays a key role to the properties, so making different structure of a styrene and butadiene could diversify the properties such as impact strength, tensor strength, flexure strength, and VST and HDT, even though the ratio of the styrene and butadiene is the same. Now I would like to hand over back to Henry to talk about K resin product portfolio. Henry? Thank you, We Sok. As most of you know, K-Resin is our key SBC product in Asia-Pacific, which is produced from Korea. We have a wide range of products suitable for different types of processing for various applications. Product in each processing type offer its unique features. For example, for injection molding, we have KRO3E and KRO3NW serve for general purpose with considering the need of the surface printing and surface decoration. Whereby, our KRO1 and BK10 serve for excellent clarity and high flow requirement respectively. For sheet extrusion, our 38 series product offers 
impact modification, especially for low temperature use. KL40 and XK44 provides excellent toughness in blending with polystyrene. For our film gray, we have uh, three products. KR52 is specific for certain type of label application, whereby DK11 and KR53, they serve for the purpose of the high stiffness and high elongation requirement respectively. Lastly, we have our newly launched product KR21 for compounding with high toughness and elasticity requirement. Here is the summary of the key features that k Racing could bring to. Sparkling clarity, processability, density advantage, compatibility in styrenic system, recyclability, regulatory compliance, sterilizable, and low temperature toughness. Since March 2017, K-Resin has been a new member of SBC family in Ineos Dilution. Afterwards, some applications have been identified as new strategy for K-Resin. I would again invite our technical product manager to talk about the new product and application one by one. Over to you, Wilson. Thank you, Henry. Here, K Racing KR21 is newly commercialized product which offers good toughness and excellent compatibility with styrenic polymers, promoting good collaboration with the existing Ineos Styrolution products in polymer modification area. Low density property facilitates high yield from the production perspective providing cost-effective solution to the market, especially on polymer replacement opportunities. Few developing projects proved the feasibility of the K-Resin KR21 for environmental stress cracking resistance enhancement of HIPS fridge inliner and impact modification of a recycling ABS and recycling HAPS. It also potentially excels in applications such as medical drip chambers and non-PVC flooring material. This is LED lamp cover application in the refrigerator appliance. One of the world's leading electronics and household manufacturer is looking for a highly transparent material conforming to Directive 2009-125-EC, which essentially outlines the eco-design requirements for refrigerator appliances by the European Commission. K-Resin KR01 possesses excellent transparency and high toughness, resulting in no breakage during the disassembly process as outlined in the eco-design requirements. As you know that the current material is general purpose polystyrene, GPPS, which is a brittle material. So the breakage is an unavoidable during the disassembly process. So that's why current GPPS is not suitable for Directive 2009-125-EC. In addition, lab result also shows that fridge LED light has no impact on color fastness of KR01. K-Resin KR01 is also in compliance with the major food contact regulations such as US FDA and EUFC and China GBFC as required for the internal parts 
of fridge applications. Actually, K-Region CAP or MAP film has been launched a long time ago in USA. Here, the CAP stands for Controlled Atmosphere Packaging and MAP is Modified Atmosphere Packaging. Actually, it's the same. So it doesn't matter which one you use. We would like to reintroduce k resin CAP film in APAC because this CAP film can deliver the vegetable and fruits to the end users with very fresh conditions. And we also believe it could help to solve a food waste disposal issue a little bit. Okay, then how can CAP film make the vegetable and fruit fresh longer? Actually, fresh vegetable or fruits update, uptake oxygen to produce energy, maintain their freshness and color. And at the same time, the vegetable or fruits also make byproducts such as CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O water. Then these are released into the surroundings. They are also breathing like human being Within a closed system with the conventional plastic film, the O2 level will be decreased and the CO2 level will be increased. So the ripening process will be accelerated even further. Thanks to lamellar morphology of the K resin, it is responsible for the high permeation rates this very high permeability can be extremely useful for fresh food packaging because in kerosene CAP film packaging for fresh foods such as fresh cut vegetables or fruits, kerosene permits exchange of gases and moisture with the immediate environment so that natural ripening processes can continue. Again, the high gas and water vapor permeability of kerosene does indeed play a key role. Okay, this is regarding a sealant layer in the leading film application. Leading films are a kind of a flexible packaging film. Generally speaking, they are commonly made from paper, foils, polyethylene, polyester, and other types of flexible packaging materials. Leading films are available in both easy peel and Loctite versions. With easy peel, as the name would suggest, the consumer can peel the film from the container with relative ease. This is what we are focusing on with the K-Resin. K-Resin core polymer films offer many of the properties which is required for the sealant layer in the leading film. Kerosene is compatible with the many other polymers, so it can be heat sealed to a wide range of materials. Furthermore, it could hold an economic advantage over conventional sealing layer in the leading film due to its lower density and recyclability. K resin's excellent processability heat sealability and styrenic composition make it an ideal candidate for leading film application.
there are still three major options in shrink film resin, PVC, PET, and OPS, oriented polystyrene. As you know that the SBC material is widely used for the OPS shrink sleeve, shrink film made from SBC show a much smoother shrinkage rate and stand out especially for their optimized shrinkage behavior. And the new product design can offer the ultimate shrinkage of 70 to 80 percent in the temperature range of 80 to 95 Celsius degree. Only this high shrinkage behavior facilitates form fitting of packaging items, having complex geometries or large radius the differences. Today, we would like to emphasize that we utilized our product portfolio fully to the target area where we never achieved. K resin is popular in OPS single layer shrink sleeve, but not in hybrid structure. So this is a new area where we want to leave our footprint. Few developing projects are ongoing to verify the feasibility of K resin as core layer in the multi-layer hybrid structure. We believe this hybrid structure could offer alternative solution to the market. Also, it demonstrates our desire in developing multi-layer hybrid structure film applications. That's all the new application and products we want to share today. Hope we do bring you the new ideas on what k raising has been working on. Now it is your turn to ask a question. Over to you, Jerry. Thank you, yes, and Henry. Very nice presentation yeah, to introduce the key reason and our new applications. So let me check what questions we have now in our charting box. OK, I think uh, first question is even we talk about some new application, but still some customers uh, has a question related to our traditional applications. The first question I have is we understand that the key horizon is a very clear itself. However, they need to blend with the other transparent material, such as GPPS, SMMA, SAN. So what's the best blending ratios to achieve the best clarities with k -Ryzen? So yes, again, please. Yes, uh, I think this is a really good question. Um, we knew that uh, in most of the applications of K resin is blended, is blending used um, as blending with the GPPS most of case. Um, if if we talk about the transparency of GPPS K resin blend, um, I think it depends on the SBC grade and also GPPS grade and also homogeneity of the blend and also the blending ratio. Um, as you know that as you know that all K raising grades have very, very good um, light transmittance, uh, but haze rises slightly um, as the toughness of the products increase. For example, um, if you look at the TDS of KRO3 and KR40, um, uh, sure, the impact strength of the KR40 is higher than KR03, but I would say KR03 is uh, much better than KR40 in terms of the clarity, which means 
um, if the clarity is the the most critical requirements in the customer side, then uh, you guys should choose the care 03 instead of the care 40. And um, if we talk about some GPPS, um, I would say all three GPPS grades give higher transparency. Um, actually, uh, it's quite easy. Uh, which GPPS grade contains oil and which the GPPS does contain the oil um, by checking TDS. Um, normally, because normally uh, oil, oil containing GPPS grade have uh, relatively low Vicar softening temperature, it's around 90 to 95 Celsius degree. Then, for example, in in else star ocean case, I would say our the GPPS grade one four seven F. Yeah, it contains oil and it shows the bicar softening temperature is around ninety five Celsius degree. But um, if we talk about the oil free grade, oil free GPPS grade, um, it has around one hundred Celsius degree of bicar softening temperature. And for instance, um, our GPPS grade, I would say, um, for example, that 158K is the one of the example. And also um, the homogeneity between GPPS and K resin is also one of the key factor. So in homogeneity reduces um, the transparency of the K resin and GPPS blend. So um, I would say the good mixing performance of the extruder is also important. And also the better homogeneity um, around 9 to 10 MVR value of the GPPS grade are recommended because um, such kind of the GPPS grade can be missable with the, our K resin more easily, and so you can see quite yeah transparent um, the final goods. And um, I think this is the most critical part: um, the the blending ratio. So um, the transmittance curve um, as function of the GPPS and SBC content is like kind of the parabolic shape. So you can imagine the, the simple chart Y axis, the transmittance and X axis, the, uh, the blending ratio here from 100 GPPS and 0% the SPC to 0% GPPS and 100% SPC, then this one is a 50-50. Then the curve would be the parabolic like this. Then where is the minimum point? That is around 60 and 40 blend of the GPPS and K resin, I would say. And as far as I know, um, the most of cases, the K resin um, blending ratio is not so big, only three to five percent for the, the conventional the sheet extrusion application. Then um, probably the clarity wouldn't be a big issue because um, because now you know the parabolic curve like this. And its blending ratio is so small, and also most likely the thickness is really thin. So that's why I would say the the clarity wouldn't be the big issue. But however, if we talk about some injection molding application, um, surely the certain level of the toughness is required. So, which means we have to put more K resin inside of the GPPS. Then again, because of the parabolic curve like this, and then maybe transparency will go down. Um, so that's why for the injection molding application, um, unfortunately, I would say there is no proper solution by using the K resin GPPS blend. 
if if the customers or the clarity requirement is is quite close to the pure GPPS, yeah. But on the other hand, um, in case of the K resin plus SMMA blend, the SMMA stands for styrene methyl methacrylate copolymer. So actually, we have the NAS NAS grade in inos style option. In that case, it doesn't matter about the branding ratio because in this case, the key factor is a refractive index of K resin and SMME. So if the refractive index of the K resin and the SMMA is well matched, then we can see very, very good transparency of the finished parts. So, um, yeah, I understand that my explanation is quite so long and quite complicated, but I hope you guys to understand about the, the K resin GPPS plan and also K resin SMMA plan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think I also received uh, several questions. This question is related. Oh, I think it uh, must be our old customer because it's a uh, no well aware well about our product portfolio. Yeah. So I think uh, he says, why is only KR03E showing in the pages for product portfolio? I did not see KR03. So does the KR03 is uh, suspended? or it's still available? I think I give this question to Henry. Henry, please. Okay, very good question. So uh, no, definitely not. We don't have any plan to suspend uh, any product uh, supply. So the product portfolio we are presenting today is just only the key grades that we want to bring you through during the webinar. For whatever grade you are currently buying from Ineos Evolution Asia Pacific, uh, you would definitely uh, can buy it in the future. We have no plan for suspension at the moment. Perhaps you may find uh, interesting that uh, you see some of the new great name in the market recently. It is because after K Racing merged into Ineos Evolution since uh, 2017, we have uh, conducted some uh, product strategy uh, adjust adjustment. So that's why uh, some new great name uh, is uh, generated uh, in recent few years. Hope this answer can uh, help you to relieve your concern. Yeah, thank you, Henry. So I think uh, you already give the answer. Yeah, if you want to buy KR03, contact our care account managers. So I also see the, the other questions. I think it's related to our new grades we just uh, introduced. KR21. It looks like you want to understand what's the real difference from KR21 compared with, with the other K Ryzen grades. I give this question to yes. Thank you. Okay, Jerry. Um, actually, KR21 has the highest butyl ion content, um, more than 30%. However, uh, most of the K Ryzen grades have around the only 25% of the BD content. And um, if you talk about the structure, especially the rubber likely soft segment structure, that is really unique and also different from the, the others. So um, it could provide exceptional toughness, which means um, CARE 21 is the toughest grade in the care resin portfolio. And so that's why CARE21 is the mainly used in um, compounding of the styrenix polymers like HIPS and ABS to enhance some of the impact properties. And especially for the HIPS, it could enhance even ESCR performance. But however, uh, I do not recommend the other K resin for ABS modification because of the miscibility issue. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, yes. 
I saw this question. I think I could answer this one. So do you have overview of the regulatory of our key reason for the compliance requirement? I think we have all the regulatory compliance declaration is provided upon the customer request. So you could approach your key account manager for the exactly the regulatory requirement you need, then they will give you the answer. OK, this is related to the regulatory. I think I also OK, it's already a new questions comes out. The question is. Uh, medical devices, so has K Ryzen material has been using the medical industries. So and in which applications? I think this one I could pass to Henry. Yeah, for K Ryzen using the medical applications. OK, thanks for the question. I think uh, we have a quite number of uh, K-Resin grade that is uh, suitable for use in the medical devices. So we have uh, experience uh, in uh, some application like the labware or the IV diffusion uh, related applications. Yeah. So uh, if uh, you would like to understand more which product is related to which kind of uh, medical devices application, uh, you could approach our account managers, sales account managers for more details. OK, thank you, Harry. I think it also have uh, the other related questions for medical. It's really hot topics. So again, as Harry mentioned, you could approach our care card managers, then understand more detail like tubing, extrusion, volume molding, which I saw the questions. Yeah. OK, so next question I saw here is. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's related to yeah, SBS. So I think. Uh, Customer question is, uh, what's the difference between SBS and SBC? Because they saw the CS number actually is the same. I pass this question to yes. Please, thank you. Uh, OK, thanks for the question. Um, you guys remember, may remember that um, I already mentioned before, uh, we could classify two types of the styrene butyl IM block of polymer. The first, the thermoplastic elastomer, where the soft BD component forms the, the continuous phase. And the second, tough and rigid transparent thermoplastics, where typically the styrene content is over 70%. So in here, if we um, just thinking about these two sections, SBS, the styrene butyl ion thermoplastic elastomer, that is, it belongs to the first type. So in general, um, BD content is more than 50%. And um, as far as I know, the typical application is adhes adhesive and also bitumen modifier and plastic modifier and footwear. So um, we can say the only difference between SBS and SBC is the ratio of the butyl ion and styrene. So if you look at the, um, their MSDS, you can see the exactly same, even exactly same cast number. Yeah, because these two, these two material consist of the same material. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yeah. I think uh, the next question is related to the new application you just introduced. So um, I think it's uh, like uh, they saw our K Ryzen actually using for the CEP and MAP. So does our CEP or MAP films could use for all kinds of vegetable or fruits? I think this question, Henry, please. Hello, yeah, thanks for the interest in the, our new permeable application. So I would say we don't have a conclusion for all kinds of uh, vegetable and fruit at this point of time because there are too many. But we have already got the successful cases in quite a number of the fruits and uh, vegetable already. 
And uh, we are also uh, now working with our partner to work out uh, the feasibility of the k resin film on the other type of uh, produce or fruits or even flowers. So uh, we will keep you updated on the uh, latest news about a successful case on the CAP film in the market. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Yeah, I have this question. I think it's related to our shrink slaves. So the question is like, uh, how many percentage shrinkage of k -Risen could achieve? Uh, yes, could you give us short explanations? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for, yeah, thank you for questions. Um, I already mentioned before, uh, our OPS, um, the film shrink is shrink sleeve. I would say the shrinks, um, it could uh, give some, it could give it from the moderate, the shrinkage, the ratio to the high shrinkage ratio is about the 70% to the 80%. Yeah. So, um, we have few uh, the customers, and they are we we are doing collaboration to develop a new formulation um, to deal with such kind of high shrinkage. So probably yeah, we could achieve around the eighty percent of the shrinkage ratio. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes. I think, uh, yeah, I saw this question. It's a very hot topic. So they said k is uh, normally used in the disposable traditional applications. Now it's a very hot topic related to the sustainable solutions. Does our k also have this kind of uh, sustainable solutions? Yeah, I think I can answer this question. So currently we still not yet have a, we call eco, or eco related to K Ryzen material. But we already reflected as an environmental concerns in our development business. So we have eco grades with the three types. First types we call mechanical recycle. Second, we have a chemical recycle. The last one actually already applying our SBC products is called bioattributed raw material solution to reduce the greenhouse gas emission. So as we already have the products in the other regions, k -Ryzen in the future definitely we will provide related products. So we will update to all of you if we have uh, solutions. Yes, I think uh, time is uh, running very fast. Yeah, so I have to say if your questions were not answered today, you can approach our account manager or you could drop your message on the our webinar email address showing the pages and we will get the relevant department to answer your question shortly thanks again for the participations of today hope see you again in the other webinars of email star solution bye bye big success together